Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. Great news, the new People Playground update has finally dropped. The last update was like 5 months ago so it's about time. Anyways, some of you may not be in the position of playing People Playground. For instance, you may be out somewhere with your family since New Year's is just around the corner. So today I'm going to go through everything new that was added in People Playground 1.26. Enjoy. Wooden Binding the wooden binding can be found in the binding section right here. This binding is destructible, so... So when you have a structure like this, if you throw it up in the air... It can break. Jet Engine This is probably my most favorite part of the update. The jet engine can be found at the bottom right here... Of the machinery list. This is the strongest engine in the game currently, and when you turn it on... It has afterburners, and it's extremely loud. Fun fact, the air intake of the jet engine can suck objects in. So if you place this human right here... Yeah. <laughs> it also works with any other object, so if we take just motorboat the engine sucks it into the air intake very nice freezing limbs will now damage tissue so if we take a human and a freeze ray and freeze the human If you look closely, you can see the flesh will get severely damaged by frostbite. Metal Scraping Sparks This update is also very nice. If we take two pieces of metal and rub them together, they will make sparks. Very nice. Sadly, the sparks do not cause fires. Activator Electrode. The Activator Electrode can be found right here in the Machinery tab at the top right here. The Activator Electrode basically just displays a small green circle in front of it, which turns on items. And also turns them off. This can be used to fire guns. Very nice. You can now edit objects rendering layers. When you right click an object, you can go into the edit layer option. So if you have two objects inside each other, if you pause the game, put them inside each other like so. If we click or right click the blue light and go into edit layer, we can pull it in front of the red light. Then behind and bring to front then bring to back. Very nice. Local fire propagation on large flammable objects. Alright, so we have a couple large flammable objects right here, but I actually have no idea what the update is trying to say. If I put everything on fire... There... I, I don't know what it is supposed to mean, but if you know what it means, please tell me in the comments. Procedural gore fragments. Alright, so if we take two people here, and we take this large eye beam, and just crush them. Then we have a bunch of procedural gore fragments, like bones and stuff. This can be enabled and disabled in the gore section in the settings. Functional weapon attachments. This is another one of my favorites. If we take just a normal gun, and scroll all the way to the bottom, in the gun section, then we have all these attachments. We have capacitor attachment, Explosive attachment, incendiary round attachment, laser attachment, and the flashlight attachment. Let's test out all of these. There is also a scope attachment, but I forgot to add that into the video. So yeah, it increases your accuracy. Let's start with the capacitor attachment. So we just attach it like so. 
And now the bullets should be electrified when we shoot the person. Yep. And to take it off, just hold the capacitor and click F on the keyboard. Oops. Um. Alright, next one is the explosive round attachment. So just attach it like so. Pick up the gun and shoot. So yeah, that's probably one of the most powerful attachments. Explosive rounds. Then we have the incendiary rounds. So yeah, he catches fire. Then we have the laser attachment, which I prefer placing on the sniper. Then you can move far away. Line up the shot. Alright. And then just fire. Yeah. And for the last one, we have the flashlight attachment. Very nice. Oh. Very cool. Tires can now pop slash deflate. Alright, so if we take a car here, and then take a gun, we can shoot out the tires. Now the car drives. It's gonna get very bumpy. Burnt leaves will now slowly disappear. Alright, so if we take a large bush, or just anything with leaves, and then light it on fire. If you look close enough, you can see the leaves are disappearing. Very slowly. But if we make a large fire at the leaves, most of them should just evaporate instantly. Brain damage can be disabled in settings. Alright, so if we go into settings, and go into gore, then we have brain damage here, which can dis be disabled. Nitroglycerin will now explode when the container is charged by something like a battery. Alright, so we have nitroglycerin here, and a battery, and if we turn on the battery, it explodes. It also works with anything else that is related to electricity. Bullets can now December limbs. Alright, so if I'm understanding this right, if I shoot this guy for long enough, his legs should break off. Quite some time later. And uh, nothing. I've been shooting him for quite a while now and nothing has popped off. Let's try again with a quite stronger gun. The minigun. Alright, let's try this one more time. Yeah, now it works. So you need quite a strong gun for this to work. For example, the minigun. Possibly the shotgun too, and the sniper in close range. Fire extinguisher is a little more animated. Right, so the fire extinguisher should be a little bit more animated. Let's look. Yep. You can see the little handle there. Let's turn this off. And yeah, I think the smoke is a little bit more animated too. Look, look at this. It like slides. I don't know if this is new or old, but I think it's new. Anyways, yeah, that's that. Alright, just to clarify, those weren't all the updates in People Playground 1.26. There were many new changes, but these were the most interesting ones for a video in my opinion. But I hope you guys enjoyed, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Goodbye.